Hey guys, it's me Lily and today's topic is going to be about deadfall traps and how you can still make one even if you cannot find a big stone or big log. So deadfall traps are one way how you can trap animals in a survival situation uh, but sometimes it can be that you do not find a big enough stone or you know big logs like this one here. Uh, so it really depends on the environment that you are in. And logs like these mostly are just long but not wide enough. I mean it can still work for a dead hole trap but usually they are also round which is not so good um, for a dead hole trap because the more round it is the more cavities there are in the log and then the mouse or the rat um, can get out of the dead hole trap. Uh, so Logs are only my second choice after stones, but sometimes it's just not possible to find the right size of stone. Okay, so what can you do if you do not have large enough objects for a deadfall trap, but you still want to make a deadfall trap? One way how you can still make a great trap for small critters is by building a snap trap. I'm calling it snap trap. Actually, I don't know if it's the real name, but it's snappy and that's why I call it this way. So I've learned this trap from a great YouTube channel. Uh, they are from Asia. I think they are situated in Vietnam, but I'm not sure. And their channel is Survival Instinct on YouTube. And I think this channel is the best, the greatest survival channel when it comes to the tropics, survival in tropics and uh, in the rainforest. So please check out their channel. They are shortly before 1 million subscribers and they definitely deserve more. So um, yeah, just uh, drop by and maybe subscribe to their channel as well. And today I want to build this trap that I learned from their channel and I'm really thankful for this knowledge because it seems like as if it's a very effective trap. So for the snap trap we are going to need a couple of sticks, some smaller ones and some bigger ones as well. So here you can see two sticks, they are already dead. The wood here is hazel, but of course in the tropics they are using some different kind of wood. Then we need two Y-shaped sticks, like this one. Okay, I got my pile of sticks. Took me 10 minutes to uh, gather those materials. Okay, next we have to take a look where uh, there's an animal trail for small critters. So I just want to look around and um, find a good spot for the trap. So it's no use if you just set up this trap, but it's not near a mouse trail or rat trail. Here I found a really good spot, so I can see an animal path going through um, the two trees. And this is also blocked by other sticks and vines. So this means that no big animals are coming through here and only the small critters can get through. So this looks like a really good place to set a, a trap. Okay, first goes the uh, thicker stick. It's um, as thick as this, maybe one inch in diameter. And then I just lay it down on the ground like so. Okay. Then I'm sharpening four small sticks to a point and I shove the sticks into the ground. I want to make sure that the sticks are smooth at the side. Okay. Okay, next I'm taking the longer of the two sticks, which is also about the same size, and I put it into the trap like so. Then I'm taking a strong branch which has a, a Y-shaped fork on it and 
I already sharpened the point because this one is going into the soil. Okay, so this is the anchor point of the stick and um, this is the point where the stick should be held down firmly in the ground. Okay, so now I want to put the main stick under tension. I want to put a lot of stress on it and this is why we need the two forked sticks here. So I'm just lifting the hazel stick like that. Then I use my forked stick like this and the other one at the other side. Okay, so now I have set up the trap and in the end I just used the two Y-shaped sticks. Uh, those two are putting the bigger branch on tension. And then here we have a guide for uh, the branch that is coming down onto the animal and this is now quite a lot under uh, pressure, under tension. And next what we are missing is a trigger system. Okay, so here we have an upright stick and then we have this um, angle stick and this is where the stick that is on tension goes onto and now we need another small stick which is basically a trigger stick and this will get pressed against the upright stick okay now i have set up the trap so the stick that is on tension lies on top of this angled stick and this one is pressing the trigger stick against the upright stick. This is the trigger stick here. So now when a rat or a squirrel tries to go through the trap here, this will happen. So it's important that this stick here is carved in an angle here and also here. And this is how it goes. So it presses against the upright stick. Here we go. So it's important that the trigger stick is fairly low over the ground and not too much in the middle or up here because uh, then the animal will go underneath it. And also here at the end it's not pushed against anything so it's just sitting here. Now let's try and release the trap again. Oh. Wow. This is a strong trap, so this is definitely an alternative if you cannot find any heavy stones, big stones or heavy logs that would be suitable for a figure 4 deadfall trap. So yeah, I think this is a pretty awesome trap for small critters, especially because uh, you only need like really small branches. And also it's quite easy and fast to set up, so this setup took me now about a little bit over one hour. But if you um, practice this trap more often, maybe you can get it done in 40 minutes. And if you build four of those, you should be fine and catching rats every day. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I want to disassemble the trap because here in Austria trapping is illegal and I just set this up for demonstration purposes. And also please do not use this trap just for fun in your garden because you might injure uh, your pets or your neighbor's animals or I don't know a squirrel in your backyard. So this is really just for professional use and for when you are really in a survival situation and when you need to get some food to survive. So before setting up a trap like this, make sure that you check your local laws first. And today I was also using my A41S survival knife again. This is my self-designed survival knife 
and if you want to support the channel you can get one at my website or at the website of my dealers thank you for watching and stay tuned for next time